Hi guys, Minek Om here back with a brand new video. Hope everyone's enjoying their day. There we go, so you guys can actually see my face. So, um, we're gonna get into the zombie survival gear. I have a whole bunch since the next, last time. S people may remember it, may not. Actually, hang on, I'll move right back. Give me one second here, guys. Okay, I'm back. So, um, yeah, let's get into this. So this is my personal survival bag. My personal zombie one. So let's get into it. I'm gonna start... Um, maybe I should just start with some, uh, yeah, I'll start with some of this stuff. So people may ask me, and I get a couple questions here and there, with your zombie survival bag, how would you survive a zombie apocalypse if it happened during winter? Well, I actually keep on my zombie survival bag a winter hat. You guys may say, well, that's not going to help you. I also have some winter gear put away that are camo. So I keep a winter hat camo always on my zombie survival gear. I keep an axe on my zombie backpack in case if... I'm out and about. I will always keep an axe on it. Okay, I'm going to start taking stuff off my ba zombie bag. So I have an axe. I'm not going to open anything on camera just because it's going to be a little bit longer video. Um, I have a knife attached to my zombie survival bag. I have a compass. On my zombie survival bag. So I will actually know. Where I'm heading. How far I'm out. And in case a zombie grabs me. Or grabs my gear. There's two straps here I can just hit. And then throw them off. So. Let's go for this back pocket first. I know a lot of people start with their inner pockets, but I'm not going to do that. I have a flare gun. And yes, the flare gun has been used before. A little bit of beat up one. But I mean, I do have a flare gun. You guys may say, well, do you have any ammo for it? Yes, I have four shots. So hopefully somebody sees them. And they're red. Flare. Goes about. 500 feet up. And brightness time is. 7 seconds. Brighten it up to. Yeah. So, okay, if you guys have any questions or just want to read this, you guys can pause at this time. If not, so that's also what's in there. Oh. I got a big boy here. How to get this stuff off when you're doing it one hand. Has a compass inside. Then even in here, got some fire starters in case. Always want to be prepared in zombie apocalypse. 
Now, I'm not really organized as some of the bigger YouTubers or stuff who do this stuff for a living. I, um, have been prepared since the Walking Dead show released its first series. Okay, I think I'm going to start with the inner, the outer pockets first, working my way inwards. So I got whatever this is. No idea what this is. And then I got a sharpener. Or this is a flit and this is a sharpener. For your knives. And yes, it kind of has been used a little bit. Not really good enough. I don't think it's good. But you'll see other methods I have of this. To use during zombie apocalypse I have used it I think it's okay during it got another knife got some armor for in case if a zombie tries to bite you they would have to bite basically they would have to bite this that way. I know you, if whoever watches my actual series don't see me running around with these, is because these are technically hot. And I'm probably going to regret my life decisions if I ever get bitten. Got another knife. Um. Got an axe. Another knife. Got a rope in case we have to depel on a building or somebody. Got a little one too. Um, decides to push us when we're doing something. Or somebody decides to betray us. Got a flashlight. Batteries are dead though. So this is what I mean by other method of sharpening. Sharpening. You can use this little tool gadget here to sharpen. Want to say you stick them here, like a knife here, and you go run it through. Haven't actually used this. <clears throat> Got a fork if you ever need to eat. Probably just it's just stick to something in this bag. Oh, but I meant my stuff isn't really organized. I got. I forgot about this. Um, I got a spoon that actually has Bigfoot on it, same with a money clam. I think that's what that is. Clean bill clam. Hmm. Yeah, so bill clam, money clam. Don't know how good that would be in a zombie pie, please, but. I Really, I'm um, not really worried about it. Um, so a lot of people have seen this on my channel, if you guys remember, it's a gas mask. I'm always prepared, so I play a lot of got a walkie talkie to communicate with car or uh, CB people, so contact with my team or stuff. So, I'm going to actually organize these. So, this is my favorite tool. It's an underdoor cam. You may say, well, it looks like a pile of uh, stuff. How can we tell this is a door cam? Because two things. One, this plugs in your phone. If you don't have that type of plug, then there's one right here that you can just sip in your phone. And then a USB stick. Uh, looking for another part. Just give me a second here, guys.
Okay, so right here is the little camera. So this is actually a pretty cool one. It's called a snake cam. Got gloves for when I'm checking doors and stuff. I got two pairs. I got a pair. Fire starter. Or fire starter kit. Bright flashlight. Handy if you're out and about. So this... is a wet log starter so even if it's like wet wood that will still start got another knife oh That's all I have in that pocket. Yes, I have too much shit. Um, some people may say I have too much stuff. Probably. Got a pair of goggles. Binoculars. Got another knife. Here. Another knife. Um, scissors, little tiny scissors, multi-tool, actually very, very easy, and very, very actually useful, I just, I just used them earlier today, laser, and yes, it does work. Give me a second here, guys. I'll be right back. So I do have a tent. It's only uh, a two-person tent. 40 inches of 7x7. Seven seven. So pretty good for camping, but it's a, as I said, it's only a two-person tent. It's not bad, I don't I think. So actually, let's grab this. Sleeping bag. Then we'll go into this right here. So people may say, well, how do you plan on catching the zombie virus? These. Plan on at least taking blood DNA and sticking them in vials like these. Got a few of those. Oh. Um, Then we'll probably put them in these type of envelopes. So BSAA members we are still working on. Um, so. Okay, so we got me leading Delta. And then. Person named Wolf, leading Wolf team. So, don't know what these even are. Hmm. Well, anyway. So, secondary thing that we can hold virus in, or technically, these, once when we get a slop of zombies, blood, or whatever, we can throw them in this. That way, at least they're detained. And... Are you talking to me? 
Huh? Okay, well, anyway. We can write down different zombies we encounter, different things. Our Z zombie plan is what Z means. Zombie plans. Typically, I have to keep notes, but I mean, I don't really have any. And then these. We'll take this. Once when this is full of this. So once when one of these are in here, we'll put it in this bag. And then send it off to the lab. So the lab will then take that and process it. Which we'll use these baggies too for. And then... No, so then we'll keep a journal too of what we find out with the zombie virus. Any antidote, any cures, different things like that. And we got gloves. So we're not touching zombies with our bare hand and going to get. infected so that is basically what we have to combat the cure a lot of people may say well how are you going to do this how are you going to do that how do you plan on um, stopping the cure or how do you plan on helping people with the cure and you're supposed to be like military we don't consider ourselves well, the BSAA doesn't consider ourselves as a military force. And then we have a whistle, compass, temperature gauge. Damn, that thing's sticking. Uh, flashlight. And... And we got another pair of binoculars. It's a little bit bigger. So we got two pairs of binoculars. For zombie apocalypse. Got a mini crossbow. One handed one. In case. We run into any zombies. We can just. Them. Quietly. I got a bigger one. I got bows too. But I just didn't have a chance to get those out yet for this video. So, a lot of you ask me. Got a bigger flashlight. <laughs> and then a pocket. And whatever the people want to use these for. So, we can learn how the Navy... Or the Marines. Um, whatever you want to call these guys. Combat Marines. And then the Air. Then the Air Force. So we can learn off those marine tech types. And that's what this bag is for. That into technically get us out of here. Oh. So you may ask, oh, midnight, how do you plan on getting uh surviving? got our own fishing gear which we can fish with
little bits of different fishing supplies, gear, stuff to basically help us out if we decide to set up by an ocean, river, pond, whatever. Then, got a little thing to pinpoint the fish on, if we choose to. So you may ask, well, how do you plan on yelping a fish? With this, it's a little handheld knife. Big enough to scalp a fish. Or a deer. Or whatever we get to eat. So we got a first aid kit, nothing really important, and then a bag for ammo. That's what this bag is for, ammo. In case if we come across camo or anything or... Got another flashlight. Got one in case we have to carry anything. And then, so, I hear people say to me, Oh, Midnight, how do you plan and what is your weapon to use during a zombie apocalypse? I am not dumb or stupid, actually, in my apocalyptic areas. I would use a katana. And yes, I have two Thomas. Wyatt is the key. So stealth would be our best option. With these two katanas you can do more. Or throwing star. Would work pretty good. A knife would work pretty good. Now you may ask me, oh midnight, what is the BSAA's official mode out. Like, what would they run? They'd run any knife by their choice. Doesn't matter what knife. This would be my personal knife in a zombie pocket because I can come behind a zombie, take care of it. Or whoever is after me, I can take care of it. Would it be that bad? Jeez, zombie dogs. Guess they still got humanity in them. Um. But yeah, basically, that is all the gear I actually have for a zombie apocalypse. You may say, well, jeez, Midnight, that's a lot. Well, I mean, you could be right about that. It could be a lot. That could be a little bit. Who cares? In the wrong one, we survive. Now, for the people who say, oh, you're just fighting because you want to live, that's not the BSAA's mission or goal. The BSAA's mission and goal. Is to rid the world of BOWs. Or bioweapons. Also considered zombies. Would be the bioweapons that we would consider. So. That's not good.
Well, anyway. Um, we would set up a survival camp as the BSAA to help out people who were stranded, people who were stopped, or people who just want to settle down for the day and then can continue on. Or let's say you guys have your own settlement set up and it's not going good as you planned. Like, you're losing people, your uh, settlement is being overrun. You can reach out to the BSAA and say, Hey, uh, we need your help at this street and this location. And if we will come up with different types, different times, different days, who knows? We'll radio ahead and say, hey, we're on our way to this location. Or we may say, hey, meet us at this location and we'll chat. That way we know while well, they're not setting us up or anything. So definitely, uh, if we ever do reach the zombie apocalypse and you guys need help, reach out to the BSAA. We will not hesitate to help you out. And for those that are like... Hey, I don't trust this kid, or I don't trust the BSAA, or or I think I can survive a zombie apocalypse better, and this is my zombie survival gear. Link your channel down below. Or yeah, definitely link your channel down below. Um, I want to see it. I want to see what you guys have for your zombie gear. So definitely link the video, your video, if you guys are YouTubers or anything, link your video down below in the comments, and I will check out your channel. Bye for now. Bye. Oh, crap. I gotta go. Bye.